this is Stampy, and welcome to a let's play of a game called Doki Doki Universe. You ready to have some fun? I'm ready to have some fun. Let's let's brighten this place up a bit. It's all a bit cold and chilly. We got snowmen all over the place, and you know what? In real life, it's pretty cold too. So what I'm gonna do is this. There we go. That's more like it. <laughs> the snowmen look a little bit out of place now. Should we put a let's can we get rid of this stuff? How do we get rid of these things? Can we? Can we just move them? Surely we can get rid of them. Do I do I press L2? No, that's to, to get more things. Because surely I can get rid of them. If I could just fling them out of the way. Let's fling all this coldness out of the way. Get rid of the candy canes. Let's get rid of the... Oh, go on, settle down. Get rid of the snowballs. Oh, <laughs> let's throw some snowballs. Okay, I guess these aren't going very far. Throw some snowballs. There we go. Get rid of them. And let's put down something uh, a bit a bit hotter. And I accidentally went to my mail, so I might as well read these first. Oh, Balloon sent me a message. I'm standing right next to him. He could have just said hello. I remember when I was first given to Lanny. She was little. I was so scared. But then you were there. To make me feel better. Come back. Soon, QT3. I'm waiting for you. Oh, isn't, it, isn't that just the sweetest thing in the world? A little balloon that belonged to a little girl is there missing me. Well, I am back, though. I am back, balloon. I'm standing right next to you. Oh, and Toad sent me a message as well. What's Toad's got to say? I remember this guy. Hi. You might be wondering about... Nook Nook. She is quite happy with her dog. Phew, what a relief. Good luck with your quest. Me and the penguins and Nook Nook are rooting for you. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Totem Bowl. Should we go say hi to Balloon then? What was I going to do? Oh, no. First, I'm going to go and put down some sunny stuff, because I did say I was going to do that. Then we're going to speak to Balloon, and then we are going to set off and uh, continue our quest around the universe. So what shall, what shall I put down then? Um, there's nothing particularly funny. Oh, this person's there, like, giving out cocktails. That's a little bit sunny. <laughs> May I take your order? <laughs> and uh, what, what else? Oh no, I pressed the wrong button again. Why do I keep pressing the wrong button? Let's go back to the mail. And then let's quit the mail. You sure you want to quit the mail? Yes, I didn't even want to go to the mail in the first place as it happens. <laughs> right, let's put down one more, one more sunny thing. You can actually click on an item and do like find familiar things. So if I find something sunny looking, maybe the rainbow and then do find similar. It might give me some more bright, happy things. Um, oh, colourful ice cream. I think I was after colourful ice cream. Or is that the ice cream I had before? I might have to go back to <laughs> at some point and see if I can get more. Here we go. Here's the sun. But I do find similar to the sun. We should get a load of uh, bright, happy things. Um, Nope. Seems to just be another random collection. Well, why don't we just put down the sun? And there we go. We've got the sun shining. We've got hot cocktail drinks. There we go. Look, the sun is literally saying shine. <laughs> and listening to some music. Let's speak to Balloon then. How are you doing, Balloon? Tell me about someplace amazing. Okay, let's see. I went to a desert planet called Pharaoh. Wow, is it very, very hot? Uh -huh. Yes, and there was a big pyramid and Egyptian people. <gasps> wow, what else? Well, there was a ghost of someone named Ramses. <gasps> a ghost? And a woman who loved him but couldn't see him. Her heart was broken. <gasps> oh, how sad. I tried to help them get back together. You're the best, QT3. Oh, I want a balloon. I want a pet balloon. The factory will see that for sure. Thanks, balloon. I want a pet balloon. I want my very own pet balloon. Oh, it's got a present for me as well. All of the balloons I've had in real life have never got me presents. I want Doki Doki Universe balloons, not real boring balloons. You're the best. Have this, Doki. Have this, QT3 even. Oh, what did it give me? I didn't even know what it gave me. Shall we, shall we change my steed as well? I've been flying around on a poo for a bit. And <laughs> I think it's time for a change. I am tempted to go back to the cheese, but I don't want to be boring. I don't want to... I'm going to try out some new things. So we go on the pig. The pig wearing a helmet. That's going to be my new trusted steed. Here it is. Let me hop on. And let's... Whoa! Here we go. Here we go. Going up and going into the universe. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight uh, to a personality quiz asteroid. And uh, I'm going to answer a few questions about myself. And uh, then once I've done that... 
I'm gonna go and head to a brand new planet. Which planet am I going to go to? Who knows, maybe, maybe Cosmos. I got a good feeling about Cosmos, a very futuristic sci-fi themed planet. Pl 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 planet? Can I speak? Yes, I can. <laughs> anyway, what's going on? Uh, which house appeals to you more? A barn with a chicken or a, a busy apartment? I couldn't think of anything worse than living in like a, a busy like apartment complex. I like solarity. Solarity! <laughs> I like solitude. There we go. There's the word. Nope, I guess I can't speak today. So I'm going to go and uh, live with the, uh, the big rooster inside the barn. Which appeals to you more? A pirate ship or a castle? Um... The castle seems a bit safer. I'm going to go for the castle. Uh, which house appeals to you more? A fantasy magic house or a boring modern house? Well, I think I kind of I think I kind of answered the uh, the the other uh, question with the question there, didn't I? The awesome fantasy house. Which appeals you to you more? Or a tree house kind of hut thing or a futuristic sci-fi house? I think that one kind of looks like it's got a face. If you look on the top of it, it's got like a little quiff hairdo and it's got like its teeth and its eyes. And for that reason, I'm going to go for that one. <laughs> Most intriguing, here's what I learned about you. You seek security and stability with your life. Family is important to you. You like bright stories and comedies, nothing too dark. You enjoy fine dining and love to go out to nice places. You are most interesting person to take my test. There we go. I'm the most interesting person to ever take their test. It says that every single time, but I believe them every time. Right, let's go then. Let's go to the cosmos. The cosmos. I've made up my mind. Why can I not speak today? Why can I not speak today? <laughs> oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, let's go down then before I go completely mad. I am curious to see what this game's final verdict on me is going to be. I'm sure at the end the um the, the psychiatrist is going to come down and just put a big stamp on me like please take away this this person is not suitable for human interaction. <laughs> Welcome to Cosmos. This place is inhabited by strange celestial beings. No one really understands them. This planet is more than any other. Yes. Are you going to teach me something deep about humanity? Don't interrupt me! I was going to say that this planet makes me feel rather really short. <laughs> anyway, enjoy your stay. I hope you learned something. Goodbye! Bye, alien Jeff. Oh god, look at the size of this guy. Look at him. He's a big moon on a stick. <laughs> and look at these, pl look at the plot line. Ah, oh, speaking of plot life. Look at this little rose petal jumping towards me. Hi, look, a lovely robot. Ah, oh, man, I'm going to enjoy this planet. I, I can tell this is going to be a nice one with uh, yeah, a bunch of uh, crazy aliens. Look at that, I've already picked up an alien. i got an alien inside of a present. What a good present. Right, so what I'm going to do, as I always do, and I always say this, but uh, the first thing uh, I recommend doing uh, when you arrive at a new planet, if you're playing this game as well, is uh, just to go around and get all of the presents, because um, a lot of the missions, to be honest, in this game involve saying, hey, have you got this thing that I want? Nope, well, go get it. And so uh, if I go and grab all of the things beforehand, uh, then yeah, I'm getting a, a little bit ahead of the game. Gives me a chance to look around as well and see people like this. It's a big, oh, it's a big sad cloud. I wonder if it starts crying, if it's going gonna, it's gonna to start raining. And uh, there's uh, a few more presents here. And look, there's a there's a big star. Look at this. The star don't look too happy either. Look at it there, drooping its head. I can see there's lots of celestial beings that are gonna gonna need some some stampy assistance here. So I might as well start with the moon. Uh, my life is so cold and silvery. <laughs> Let's see what the uh, the moon has to say. If only the sun would visit me. I miss it so much. Hey, I'm a sun. No offense, but you're actually a star. It's not the same thing. Party pooper! Could you bring me something to remind me of the sun? Bring Luna the sun. I've got the sun! I put the sun on my home planet just a second ago. Right, which sun shall I give? I got a bunch of suns. I got a sun and the earth. I got a sun listening to headphones. And I got a big sun up here. Let's go give this a uh, big sun up here and see if the uh, see if the moon likes it. Oh, this isn't the real sun. It reminds me of it, though. Thank you very much. This makes me feel better. There we go. Bring Luna the sun. You are very welcome. I think the uh, the moon and sun are going to be very good friends today. And here's a star. If you didn't know, by the way, the uh, the sun is actually a star. It's just a very close one. And uh, we're all orbiting around it. Anyway, uh, let's go and say hello to this star over here. I'm a star shine. I used to live in outer space with all the other stars. Then I moved to Cosmos. I like life here, but I sometimes miss shining with the others. Could you bring me something to remind me of the galaxy? 
get a galaxy for Starsha. Well, I have the, um, I have, oh, oh, there's the, is this the galaxy here? This seems to be like some sort of solar system. I was going to say I got, I got over here the, um, the sun and the, the earth, but I could just give them this. This seems to be, this seems to be pretty appropriate. I hope it's what they're looking for. Oh, look at the size. Oh, look at them washing around. Wow, look at all those stars swirling around in endless harmony. Thank you very much, robot. You've made me very happy. Jolly good. Now let's go. Uh, let's go speak to the the cloud. I feel like I'm doing lots of uh, good deeds today. I should be very happy with myself. Hello there. I'm Claudia. Hi. Uh, I spend lots of time covering up things like the sun and the sky and UFOs once in a while. I generally try to make the world a more mysterious place. I really like mysterious things. Say, do you have anything mysterious you could give me? Get uh, something mysterious for Claudia. Or was that Claudia? <laughs> I'm going to call them Claudia because it uh, makes the pun work a little bit better. So I'm mysterious. What's mysterious? A mysterious bottle of ketchup. A mysterious plane. A mysterious candy house. Do I have anything mysterious? Is there anything here particularly mysterious that stands out to you? This is pretty mysterious. It's <laughs> very mis- Oh, look at it. Oh, look at those shifty eyes. Hmm, what's over to the right? What's to the left as well? Who knows? Very mysterious. Let's give that. Oh, backfire. Was this not mysterious? Oh, what did oh I think I gave the wrong thing, did I? How cute. Hi there, girl. You did conjure up something, but I wouldn't exactly call that mysterious. All right, all right. God, don't go raining all over me. I'll get you something mysterious, Claudia. All right, let me go and find- Was that person gone now, then? Oh yeah, I, th I think I might have just clicked on the, the wrong person. I seem to be doing that quite a lot recently. Here we go. Is this mysterious? Wow, thanks. That is truly mysterious. And I am truly grateful. There we go. You are very welcome, Claudia. Anytime you want something mysterious, I'm your man. I got I got mysterious to the brim, I have. <laughs> oh dear, I'm overflowing with mysteriousness. Well, I think I am. You're going to have to guess. Ooh, that's how mysterious I am. And look at this person. I just want to give them a big high five. Let's go wave to them. They can wave back with their head hand. <laughs> Did you hear their little voice? Nights around here can be pretty dark. <laughs> Do you think you could find me something that looks like... Uh, okay. That, <laughs> that way I can read it in that thing. <laughs> okay, we need to get something that, that lights up. Well, I got a candle. Uh, I got the sun. I could give everyone the sun. We could all have our own little personal suns on here, couldn't we? Fireplace gives out light. Oh, there's a lamp. I, I think the, uh, the lamp's a good option. I've not given someone a lamp before. The first time I've ever given someone a lamp. Hmm, thanks the bundle. Now I can read that at night. Hmm, I'm going to read so many picture books. <laughs> Jolly good. You are very welcome, Zip. Your very own lamp. But look, there's someone over there. Is this one's going to be called Zop or something? What does this person sound like? Hey there, cool robot. Me. I'm not a cool robot. If only you knew me, my model might be discontinued. They say we don't have enough humanity. Oh, look at me go pounding the floor with my fists. I have no humanity. <laughs> well, you do seem like a small robot to me. Oh, thank you. Hey, don't... Hey, I don't mean to be demanding, but... But I really do love robots. Do you think you could make a robot of my own? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure I could. I'm sure I've got one in my back pocket around here somewhere. I did actually, I remember getting one. There's this guy up here. Is that a robot? With a weird little spiral in its belly? I can see I've got another robot right here, but let's give this one, because this, this one's a new one. Brand new robot. This is amazing. Thank you so much. I will never forget you. Yay, I've managed to please him. There you go, Zans, I got a robot for you. Look at that thing. <laughs> what a ridiculous robot. And I thought I was ridiculous. And there's someone else over here. I think that everyone's just got one mission. Normally, people like, like they ask for a million things. Oh, look, they got a present for me as well. Yeah, normally you go and help someone and then they're like, ah, oh, thank you very much for helping. Now please help me again and then help my friend. Then help me again. Then help them again. Then help me again and then help me again and then go back and then go back again and then help me again. Then you can leave and come back and help me. These people are like, right, I got a problem. Solve the problem. Thank you very much. On your way. And this is what I like. To the point. They're not messing around. They're, they're very conscious of my time and they're <laughs> taking that into consideration. Anyway, we've got a, we've got a flower to speak to. How are you doing, Miss Flower? Oh, 
Straight, straight to the pictures then. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna do some art? Or maybe it doesn't, sp maybe it can't speak. It's just trying to tell me what it wants in pictures. Right, so it wants to be able to draw. Uh, and it wants a, a present. Get, yeah, get some art for Tulip. Okay. This is like a, like a little puzzle. What do we have here then? Oh, there's some, there's some art up there. There's a comic book down here. I think it's gonna have to be this one. Not only am I getting you some art, but I'm also getting you an artist. If you want to give someone a drink, you can give them a glass of water. But if you give them a well, they can drink forever. If you want to give a flower some art, you can give them a painting. Or you can give them an artist and they'll have paintings forever. There we go. <laughs> there, 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 there's my story. A masterpiece! Hey! And the flower's very pleased. Get some art for Tulip. I've completed it! I completed this entire planet! And I was wasting time at the beginning of the video. Look at me getting all efficient for a change. Are you very impressed with me, Alien Jeff? Did you learn anything important about humanity here? Oh yes, quite a lot. I'm not really sure. Actually, no, I don't think so. Um, what did, what did I learn about humanity here? Did I learn anything? I don't think I've learned anything like at all during this game. What have I learned about humanity here? I, I gave someone some art. Um, I learned that that humanity is actually pretty nice. A lot of people were very nice here, and it's. Sometimes, especially being on the internet, it's easy to think that a lot of people aren't very nice with some of the things that people say, but you know what? I think the majority are pretty nice, and that's what I've learned about humanity. So, oh yes, quite a lot. Aha! You are this! Uh, with gusto! <laughs> oh yes, quite a lot. Okay, explain it then. And this better be good. It's nice to know you don't have all the answers. But Alien Jeff, you're the teacher. Huh? Oh yes, of course I am. What should I learn from this planet? Oh, well, um, would you look at the time? Um, I need to get going. Okay, bye. Bye, QT3. Bye. <laughs> uh, we didn't have the answers either. But um, it says there's still five more presents. Uh, they're all relationship ones, which means I have to go around and be nice to all these people and try and, yeah, try and just get them to give me a present. Basically beg them for presents is what I need to do. And I can't be bothered to do that. So what I am going to do is uh, I'm going to try and stay on top of my mail. I'm going to read my new uh, uh, letter that I got sent. And then I'm going to go and do a, another personality quiz. And Mr. Happy sent me a message. The unhappiest person that I know. And he's dressed in a bunny costume and he's very upset. But, oh, well, let's see what he's got to say. Maybe he's cheered up a little bit. Dear QT3, this is Mr. Happy. Everyone here on New Hawaii is doing fine and says hi. There's, uh, what's it, uh, Chester and, um, I can't remember what the other guy's name was. Hula Lula, I think one of them's called. <laughs> it's kind of boring without you here. Could you bring me back some awesome monster robots? Thanks. <laughs> oh, that was a fun time. I think it was, uh, it was the last video I went to New Hawaii, wasn't it? It wasn't that long ago. He's already missing me. I've barely been gone for a few days and I'm already being missed by the uh, all of the, the hula dancers, bodybuilders and robot enthusiasts. <laughs> what a weird combination of characters they had on that um on that planet. Anyway, let's leave then. Let me just do my let me do my piggy call to summon my pig. There we go, I'm now on my pig and let's go and set sail. Back into the universe. So as I said, uh, this is gonna be a um uh, a sandwich. This is going to be a Doki Doki Universe sandwich. Uh, last time I didn't have a full sandwich. I more had a Doki Doki on bread rather than a proper sandwich because I didn't have a, a time to do my second personality quiz. Uh, but seeing how effectively uh, I managed to, to help everyone on that planet. Uh, yeah, I have time to go and do this uh, quiz from Monk Fondue. <laughs> Alright, Monk Fondue, what have you got to ask me? Uh, choose a robot for a roommate. This one seems to be quite, quite well behaved. This one seems to be a bit more exciting because he's just come up with an idea. And I'm hoping that his idea is a fun game for us to play. Or maybe his idea was a, an amazing meal that he can cook me for dinner. Uh, so that's why I'm going to go for that one. Uh, which balloon is more stupid? Um, I don't think any of them look particularly stupid. I mean, that one's flying. And that one's, uh, that one's going underwater with the fishies. Um, I don't know which one's more stupid. My instinct just says this one for some reason, and I have no idea why. I don't think it is particularly stupid, but out of the two, I'm going to go for that one. Uh, if you had to choose, which woman would you think is most appealing? Um, one with a big love heart, 
One with a little love heart. One there who seems to be blowing kisses and uh, <laughs> doing a little bit of a dance. And one playing badminton. Hmm. I do play badminton, actually. I haven't in a little while, but I, I used to play a little bit of badminton. Hmm. She's not really doing it for me, to be honest. She looks very cute. She looks the way she's sort of shutting her eyes and giving it a big hug. And uh, she, she looks a little bit shy. She seems a little bit timid. I'm going to go for... I think this one. I, I don't know why, but once again, I've just got that feeling. I feel like that is that is the right one for me to go for. I'm kind of actually really interested to see uh, what it what it what it makes of that decision. I might read a more in depth about that. Uh, which would you rather do this weekend? Uh, do uh, some some toy um, train sets? Go out and play with my dog, or sit at home and play some video games? I would love to say I want to play with a train set, and I do want to play with a train set. I also am a big lover of dogs, and I'd love to go and play fetch. But to be honest, the thing that I'd like to do this weekend is going to be the thing that I am going to do this weekend, and that is play video games, because... <laughs> oh, dear, that's, that's what my life revolves around, video games. I'm sure a lot of you might be uh, <laughs> pretty similar. You've got to do other things as well. You've got to be active as well and do other stuff, but uh, it is okay to love video games. Anyway, uh, pick a wish for yourself. Do I want to be rich beyond my wildest dreams? Do I want to be a hero and get their damsel? in distress or do I want to be a superhero and do a funny little jig once again no competition I want to be a superhero and do a little jig anyway let's go find out a, bit, a little bit more about me so I'm a people person uh, I'm social uh, detail oriented and uh, I'm a thinker what I want to do though is uh, go down to more details and uh, hear what it said about the uh, the so yeah some of them more in depth you selected the energetic and extrovert robot this means that over peace and quiet, you would go for exciting ideas and cheerful energy. This suggests that you want lively conversation, debate, fun, and plenty of social interaction. Here we go, this one's going to be quite interesting. Is there a problem with the helicopter? The balloon can fly away, but if there is a problem under the ocean, the water pressure means certain depth for the balloon. Choosing this means you're good at scientific, analytical thinking. Oh, I'm good at scientific analytical thinking. You know what? I just picked that one out of the blue, so <laughs> maybe not. But you know what? I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> anyway, this is one I was really interested in. You went for the girl with the medium-sized heart and the good looks. That means you like someone who is attractive and confident. You're the people person type and you have a romantic side. Ah. Once again, I just went with my heart. Uh, you choose video games. Most video games involve action of some sort. This means you are an action lover and someone who is good at details and staying focused. <laughs> I'm not too sure about that. Uh, you selected superpowers over money and romance. This means you believe in magic and someone who yearns to break out of normal life and experience the fantastic. That is definitely uh, very, very true. And I've done it. I finished the personality uh, test and uh, as a result, I'm able to get a, uh, a piece of corn, which I, I can put on my home planet if I want. I got a trophy. How uh, and how does that make you feel? There we go. I guess I got a trophy for doing a... Um a certain amount of uh, the personality quizzes. Anyway, sadly though, uh, that is going to be the uh, end of this video here. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying my Doki Doki Universe Let's Play videos. Uh, remember, if you do want to play this game yourself, uh, it is available on pretty much anything PlayStation, on uh, PlayStation Vita, PlayStation 3, or the uh, PlayStation 4. Uh, if you buy the game on one, you get it on all three, and uh, there's going to be a, a link in the description to uh, buy the game if uh, you do want to. Uh, if not, no worries, uh, you can carry on watching me uh, play through it, and uh, yeah, find out about my personality rather than yours. <laughs> anyway, Anyway, as I said, that's the end of this video here. There will be a link in the description to the next part of my Doki Doki Universe Let's Play once I've uploaded it, as well as a link to uh, the playlist, uh, which will have all of my Doki Doki Universe videos in order for your viewing pleasure. But as I said, we have just run out of time, so I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you later. Goodbye!